boy, do I have a drone story for you. Okay guys, so before we get into the video, I just wanna let you guys know about TubeBuddy. If you're trying to grow your YouTube channel, I have a great SEO tool for you. It's what I've been using to help me grow this YouTube channel. Definitely check out my link in the description below. By clicking the link, you get a free version of TubeBuddy to use to see if it's right for you. So definitely check that out, but let's get into the video. A DJI Phantom drone, much like the one hung up right there, was actually found crossing the US-Mexico border into San Diego where it crash landed onto a roof. When they went up onto the roof to recover the drone, they discovered that it was filled with meth. This drone was filled with a kilo of meth. It says last Sunday, Border Patrol agents found a DJI Phantom drone with a kilo of meth taped to the top of the aircraft on the roof of a business in San Yesdro, a district of San Diego north of the border of Mexico. So basically an unidentified person called Border Patrol and they were reporting that a drone had crashed on top of a roof. So that is where the beginning of the story began. Now get this, this is a crazy part. I'm probably gonna butcher the name of this town again, but a resident of San Yezidro said, I see them all the time. I also see people in cars that just sit there for hours. It looks strange. So this person's alleging that they see these drones all the time flying over the border. While it isn't new to use drones to smuggle drugs across the border, agents do report seeing an uptick in recent months. So here's another quote. They are using the cover of the night mostly to smuggle illegal contraband into the US. So right here, I have a tweet from the chief patrol agent, Aaron M. Heitke, probably not saying that right, but it says Sunday morning, border patrol agents were alerted to the presence of a crash drone on the roof of a local business along the border in San Yezidro. The drone had one kilo of meth tape to it. Agents are investigating the incident. So that's pretty much the end of the article. It just talks about, you know, how there's an uptick in these types of situations. And it is a real concern with drones. Drones have been used to carry illegal contraband for a long time. We've heard lots of stories of drones trying to drop this contraband over prisons. We've heard it before on the border. We've even heard it in other really weird scenarios that you just wouldn't think a drone would be used. So my take on it all is it is unfortunate it. You know, it's just one of those things that you can't really stop. And I know that sounds horrible. The only way to really stop this from happening would be to ban all drones. It's kind of like the gun argument. You can have a good guy with a gun and a bad guy with a gun. You can have a good guy with a drone. You can have a bad guy with a drone. I mean, it's really like the same thing. So to ban all drones because a couple of bad actors would be ridiculous as we all know and hopefully agree with. The point of me covering this is, is to just highlight that there are criminals that use these drones and it's unfortunate because the drugs that they're flying over the Mexico border into the United States, you know, they're gonna be taken by somebody and they might die of an overdose. You know, if there, if there wasn't a drone, they'd be digging a hole under the ground. They'd be flying a kite. <laughs> Who knows what they would do? These people, like, they just get really creative. They sneak things in through trucks. They do a lot of really, like, crazy stuff to get this contraband into the country. Yeah, very interesting article here. It's sad that that's happening all the time. Maybe the Border Patrol will pay more attention now to that area. If they stop them there, they're gonna go somewhere else and do it somewhere else. It's a never ending, you know, game of tag, basically. But anyway, guys, that's it for this story. Just wanted to cover that for you guys. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. Also make sure to hit the thumbs up button. That way this video ranks higher in the algorithm. But that is all for today's video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.